Welcome to Section 4, the Income Approach to GDP. The final way to calculate GDP is to add up all the income earned by factors of production in the economy. Workers who sell their labor to firms earn a wage. The wage is the factor payment that makes up the largest portion of consumer income. Rent is earned by those who lease their land or natural resources to firms for use. For example, cell phone towers are everywhere. They're built on land that is almost always privately owned. The carrier company who wants to build the tower must pay rent to the owner of the land in order to use it. Once they've paid that rent, they can build their tower and operate it. Profit is the income earned by firms. It's their revenue from selling their products minus their cost of production and the taxes owed. Interest is earned by those who invest their income into firms by buying stock or by making loans to the government in the form of bonds. The purchase of stocks or bonds is not counted in GDP, only the money earned from allowing those organizations to use their investment. That's called interest. Dividends, which are part of a firm's profits that are paid out to shareholders, are also counted as interest. Let's return to Autotopia to see how GDP is calculated using factor payments. These four rows here show the factor payments that are made to households who sell their resources to the firms in the economy. If we add up the value of all the wages, interest payments, rent, and profit paid for the use of those resources, we get a total value of $21,500. Let's do a practice question. Look at the following chart for an economy. Using the income approach, what is the GDP for this economy? To find the GDP, we need to add up the factor incomes. We need to add up the rent, the interest, profits, and the wages. Once we add all that together, we get a total of $94. That's it for section four. I'll see you in a little while.